The Pines of Sarasota kicks off the first day of fall by hosting a National Falls Prevention Day Symposium. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer was there and has more. Alarming new statistics show injuries and deaths related to falls are becoming more common among adults ages 65 years and older. One out of three 65 will fall this year. Every 13 seconds, a senior actually goes to the emergency room because of a fall. And unfortunately, every 20 minutes, a senior is fatally injured because of a fall. But there are ways to prevent falls, which is why the Pines of Sarasota offers a ready and steady assessment program. We actually do the uh, free fall risk assessment, and it has three parts. Um, and after all of those steps have been completed, each clinician would actually have the idea of where you at with your balance. 84-year-old Jorita Stevens is a patient of the program and says she's learned a lot along the way. I'm more aware of falling and no, I absolutely don't want to fall. Steven says she's not only learned plenty of exercises to do at home, but she's also learned a wealth of knowledge that she shares with her friends, both young and old. Falling doesn't have an age limit. And experts say preventing falls instead of treating them after the fact makes all the difference. Sometimes to some it could be the beginning of the end as they call it because there's a lot of complications that occurs after such intervention is put in whether you have a new hip for example or um, have some head injury because of the fall. Reporting in Sarasota County, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. The rehab director you saw there says there are two factors that lead to falls, environmental and health, and he encourages patients to speak to their doctors about falls and prevention.